Hello my lovelies, Elsie here with your sneak peek for this week. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you so much. I'm here with a, a bit of tea and 12 decks. So uh, this is the sneak peek for the week. I do this reading uh, one time in a week and it is for the entire collective. Uh, I've got 12 decks. I will read for 12 signs all the way from Aries to Pisces and I'm going to mark everything in the description below so um, uh, you can just scroll this video to find what you need. If at any time you do not see the chapters in the video, please look in the description. You will find find your specific timings for your specific sign right there. I'm just going to ask you to please, please, please stop watching tarot just for your sun sign. You don't really know what's going on if all of your watching is the sun sign. You already know your personality. You already know their personality. What you need to know is what's going on with the mask, which is the rising sign, and what's going on in the soul, which is the moon sign. So please go find a natal chart. They are free everywhere, and you don't even need an exact time of birth. It helps, but you can still get a sort of a loosey-goosey idea of what your sun, moon, and rising are even if you just know if you were born in the day or in the night or in the a.m. or the p.m. So um, let's go. Let's let's start here. Um, I have pulled out the holiday cards and we're going to start with those. Um, I just want to let you know that there is a tarot reading sale on. It just began today. It will go till the 30th of November. It's 10% off all of my services. So please uh, look in the um in the pinned comment below this video, you will see a link to Wizio, which is the only place where you can book me. And uh, there is a um, there is a code that you will need. It's thanks twenty four. If you're unsure, please go look at the community board. It is there. And um, yeah, so um, if you're interested in ten percent off of any of my services until the thirtieth of November, uh, Black Friday combined with Thanksgiving Day sale, have at it. All right, Aries. Let's find out what's going on for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Aries, please. What is going on for Aries? Please make sure you have your intuitive hat on, my friends. All right. I've got the world card. What is this? Aries, you're closing a chapter of some sort. I feel like, you know, this... This week is going to be a big week because tomorrow is when, uh, it's like today or tomorrow, I think, is when Pluto moves into Aquarius, which is going to affect us all. It's a very big shakeup. It is. And so I feel like you are beginning this week with um, closing some sort of a chapter that is no longer necessary in your life here. We have the Three of Swords, we have the Seven of Cups, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're pretty confident that it's time for you to finally close the door on something and move forward here. I feel like whatever it was that was back there, Aries, was heartbreaking. I feel like it was heartbreaking and confusing. You weren't really sure what to do, but I feel like this week you are closing the door because you're getting some sort of confidence or stability or it feels like you're finally standing up and saying, you know what? I'm in charge here. Nine of, nine of Pentacles is the pre-empress energy, whether you're feminine or masculine. I feel like you're now in this place where you are settled and um, ready to um, share your wealth, I'm going to say, whether it's a wealth of knowledge or your money or whatever it is, it feels like you feel confident enough now to carry on by yourself because this is also a card of being single. And so I feel like somebody here is closing the door on heartache and confusion. I've decided I'm just going to go on this path by myself. Tell me what else is going on with the world card here for Aries. We do have um, the devil energy here. This deck, they call it Krampus. <laughs> We've got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And we've got the Star. I really love this energy here, Aries. It tells me that you're actually in this stage of healing. Um, you know, after the Eight Pentacles comes the Nine. And I feel like it's like this Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. It's like you're, you are not quite where you want to be right now, but you know that at the Nine of Pentacles, you've got everything you need in order to confidently move forward and onto this new path. Once the door closes, I feel like I feel like what you've decided here, what you're closing the door on, you're ending the chapter on here, is that you're no longer going to be giving to people who are toxic. You're no longer going to be giving to the devil energy. So the Ace of of Pentacles in the reverse tells me I'm not giving them my energy anymore. So no matter no matter who it is, it feels like you you have decided that I'm I'm no longer going to be giving people who are toxic, who um, smack talk me, you know, pe in that kind of dark energy. I'm not giving any more 
energy to that. What I am going to do is I'm just going to heal myself and keep moving. And I think that's that's a super great plan. This could also be the devil could also be like a maybe a seduction of the material world or spending too much money or you know it can be the, the seduction of things as well. Maybe you're not giving any more energy to that either. Uh, we do have the Queen of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the Four of Cups. You know what I feel that you're doing here? Is you're just taking your good energy and you're moving along is what you're doing. The Queen of Cups, right, is the one who is compassionate and kind and loving and empathic and sometimes psychic, but it's always the one who is taking care of other people. I feel like what you are doing is you're closing the door on giving energy to people who don't appreciate it, to people who would um, have you, you know, have uh, twist things. Like it almost feels like, it doesn't necessarily feel like lying, but it feels like this energy of the devil energy is what contributed to this, this overwhelming or confusion and heartbreak here. And I feel like somebody here is getting back on track. So it feels like here that you are... Um, with the Six of Swords here, that you're moving on. You're moving on to a place that is um, a place that you choose, I want to say. A place that you choose to be, rather than just sort of giving your energy to people who don't deserve it. I feel like you're now being very choosy or very specific about who you're giving your energy to. And the rest of them, you're moving on from. I feel like you you are in this energy of the Queen of Cups because it is the place that is not chaotic. I feel like the Six of Swords is telling me that you're leaving the chaos and going to be living in this energy of kindness and love and compassion here. Yeah, it feels like you're sort of, I'm looking here and the Three Cups are poured out. It feels like somebody here has decided, I'm not going to focus on what I've lost. Um, you know, because I know what's going to show itself is is what is here, which is the Ace of Cups. So it feels like somebody here has decided, I just need to take my love and go. We've got um, we've got the Hermit energy here, showing up as Father Christmas. It feels like this is not something that you took lightly, I want to say. This is not a, a decision that you made overnight. This is something that you've been thinking about along the path for quite some time, trying to find your light, trying to find the right answer. And I think that you finally found it. You're out there, I feel, um, ready to give your love to somebody. And I don't mean romantic love. I mean, it could be romantic love, but it doesn't have to be. You're ready to love on people who love back on you. And anyone else is, is going to get the Six of Swords. Tell me what the outcome is, please. We've got the Five of Pentacles. We've got the King of Swords. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like what we're... We're, we're coming to the end of the year, right? And the end of the year can be represented by the world card. It's, it's calling this the wheel of the year. It is the wheel of fortune. And so I feel like you're now rolling into a different... Um, a different time. Everything is changing. I feel like you've changed your mind in some way, Aries. You've changed your mind. And I feel like maybe you were focusing too much on, on the three cups here, what you had lost. And it may have put you into this five of pentacles energy. But I feel like you've changed your mind in some way. Or you are about to change your mind this week on something. And I feel like it's going to bring you much balance here. I feel like somebody here is... The three of wands makes me feel like you're... You're waiting for the balance to happen. So possibly somebody is like, I just need to stick to my guns. I need to stay on the path. I need to wait for divine timing for the Wheel of Fortune here. Because it feels like somebody here, um, I'm, I'm getting a feeling that somebody here has left a relationship or that it's over the Two of Cups is in the reverse. So there's somebody here who I feel um, has, has realized that this is just not the place for me to be. There's not enough love here for me. And... I feel like it's, um, I want to say, yeah, it feels like it's a, a breakup. And so it, it's going to require you take a new course of action here. And I feel like the action you're going to start with is healing the self. No more giving energy to toxic partners or toxic people or a toxic workplace. It feels like you're breaking up with work or you're breaking up with a friend or breaking up with the relationship 
but I feel like you're doing it intuitively because I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is here and you've quite literally changed your mind. The King of Canes is the King of Swords. You've changed your mind about something and it is that I've decided that going forward into the new year, I'm no longer going to be giving my energy to people who don't deserve it. We've got the Eight of Swords. And like I said, I don't feel like you made this decision very easily, but we do have the Lightning Tree, which is the which is the tower and then we have the eight of swords i feel like you sat here for a really long time not wanting to make a decision feeling like your hands were tied i don't really know what to do about the situation but it feels like the tower comes to save you comes as mercy to pull you out of this eight of swords here to give you a realization that maybe you were giving your energy to people who didn't necessarily deserve it and I feel like you're making a different decision as you go forward into this week. A lot of people, I, it, it almost feels a little bit nostalgic for me. It feels like you're thinking about the past and, and the present and what the future you want the future to look like. We've got Scorpio energy here. We've got Virgo. Um, we've got a lot of water. So we've got um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We've got Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We've got Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. We've got uh, more Aquarius energy. We've got Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, as I said. All right. Is that how it's going to be? Aries, you always lead us off on this, this energy here. So we'll see what comes up for the rest of the signs. Here we go, Taurus. This is for you, my bull gang. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. Taurus, if you're interested in a private read, there's a sale on 10% off of, of all of my services. Please look in the pinned comment for uh, a code that you'll need to take with you to Wizio. There also is a link there to Wizio. If you're interested, you need to be booked in before midnight on the 30th in order to be able to uh, get your to get your um, sale, sale price, 10% off. All right, Taurus. Gosh, I can't get the words out today. Can you tell it's Mercury retrograde? <laughs> it's only the shadow phase. Gosh, and I'm already tripping over my teeth and tongue. All right, here we go, Taurus. Let's find out what's going on for Taurus. Taurus, this week we start out with the Ten of Pentacles. Look, that's not a bad place to start. Tell me why the Ten of Pentacles is here for Taurus. We've got the Ace of Swords. We've got the Magician. And we've got the Eight of Cups. Taurus, I feel like you've manifested something and I feel like it's about to show up this week. Look, the Ten of Pentacles can be anything. It can be money for some of you. It can be, it, it really is just energy. It could be money. It could be family. It could be good health. Look, it's Ten Pentacles and Pentacles are energy. They're not always money in the tarot. And so it's grounded, good, solid energy and an abundance, an overabundance of something. So it could be an overabundance of love, an overabundance of good health, an overabundance of money. This could mean you got the job. This could mean you got the promotion. You know what I mean? So take it as it resonates for you. Got the Ace of Swords and the Magician. Look, that, that kind of tells me that you know what you're doing, that you are very determined to walk away from something and toward another thing. It feels like this Ace of Swords is telling me that there is some good communication coming for you this week, Taurus, and it's going to be incredibly and overly abundant. The Magician is here. I feel like you're in charge. You're the one who has manifested all of this. And I feel like it, it's taking it's taking for you to walk away from something or look at something head over heart and disconnect from something you don't need in order to be able to get this Ten Pentacles here. I feel like that's why you're getting the Ten Pentacles is because this Ace of Swords is telling me that you've had some sort of clarity or you're ready to talk and uh, it's it's time for you to do it in a head over heart way. We've got the Moon Energy, we've got the Queen of Cups, and we've got the King of Wands. So it, it does feel like there is something that is going to be incredibly good that I feel that you don't see coming. This week is going to be a really great week, but the Moon Energy is here. You know what, for some of you, what you don't see, I feel for some of you, is that you are... Um, you're going to meet somebody if you haven't already met them. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So we've got Scorpio, Taurus, uh, sorry, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here. It almost feels like, yeah, like the Queen of Cups is looking at the moon 
And in the moon energy, it's like things are not as they seem. I feel like somebody is sort of lamenting or feeling like I've got so much love to give. How come I can't find a person? How come my person isn't finding me? Like it feels like you're looking at the moon and asking questions. We just got out of the full moon energy. It feels like maybe someone has closed a chapter or released some things. I feel like what you don't see is the king of wands is sneaking up behind you. It could be someone who is a fire sign, but it could be someone who acts out like a fire sign. Fire signs like to, they're motivated to pursue, right? So we do have a feminine and masculine leaning energy here. The King of Wands is masculine leaning, but also has feminine energy. The Queen of Cups is feminine energy, uh, feminine leaning, but also has masculine energy. It feels like these two could end up at some point in a long-term relationship. But not before you cut someone out or release someone emotionally or disconnect from someone. I feel like you, once you close the door on something here, once you end the cycle, that's when everything starts to move in the right direction here, Taurus. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Six of Wands. And we've got the Five of Cups. I feel like this King of wands is about to show up. This person has been taking forever to reach you or to make their decision or to get to you. The Knight of Pentacles, of course, is the slowest moving uh, knight in the deck, but it's because we're going over details and I want to make sure I do it right the first time. I feel like somebody here has been sort of holding back or held back or being patient, Taurus. It feels like with the Six of Wands, you go from this person moving really slow to giving you all sorts of attention. We've got the Five of Cups here. It feels like there is somebody who is in regret because this, it feels like you're not expecting someone to show you a lot of passionate attention. It feels like there's somebody that you're probably thinking about who you've already met, had communication with, and then they sort of went off grid. And maybe you're thinking, well, okay, well, maybe we're just not meant to be together. Or maybe we're just not, that's just not my person. I feel like you're in a little bit of regret. That could have been good. It could have been fun. I feel like it's not over, though. I want to say if you did meet somebody and um, there is somebody who is like off grid now, I feel like you're going to see them again. We've got the three of wands. Yeah, I feel like you know you're going to see them again. Maybe there's already um, something in place for you to see them again. Like maybe you're going to a social event and you know they're going to be there. Something like that. But the three of wands is telling me that there is going to be expansion here. I think that you're busy in the five of cups saying, well, that's regretful. I'm sorry that didn't work out. But look, you're manifesting. Maybe it's because you have not disconnected from something yet. You need to walk away, disconnect, and stop settling for something before this is going to come about. Tell me what the outcome is, please, for Taurus. We've got the lovers in the outcome. We've got the emperor. And we've got the eight of wands. Look, I've been doing readings for you for the last couple of days, Taurus, and it keeps coming up the same way. It, it feels like I keep repeating myself. But listen, when messages are repeated in tarot, it's because it means something, right? It feels like the lovers and the emperor is here with the eight of wands. It feels like things are now going to pick up. So if you already met somebody... And this person is now off grid and hasn't called you back or texted you in a couple of weeks or is hesitating. I feel like this person um, is somebody who was waiting to see if they would miss you, waiting to see if they would be thinking about you. Like it feels like somebody is, you know, and this is the way... This is the way it is in a healthy relationship. It doesn't start with love bombing. Somebody who gives you all of their attention all at once. It is somebody who sort of pulls back a little bit and is thinking, is going over details. If I do this, I want to do it right. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And so I feel like we could be talking about the King of Wands. So Aries, Sagittarius, Leo could be talking about this Aries. We do have... Uh, more Aries. <laughs> Look, it feels like it could be an Aries. It could be a Gemini as well. We've got Libra and Aquarius here as well. Um, uh, and we've got water and fire, right? Uh, we've got the three of cups. Look, you're going to see this person again. I feel like you're going to bump into this person again, whether they call you up and they ask you out or you end up going to a social gathering and that person ends up being there. I feel like it's there where this person is going to give you a lot more attention. Look, the Ten of Cups is here. It's going to make you really happy. The Ace of Wands is here as well. Look, it's the start of something passionate. Just saying. All right. Let's talk about Gemini. Tell me about Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Gemini. 
Gemini, if you're interested in a private read friend, please look into the um, pinned comment below this video. There is a sale on 10% off of all of my services. There's a code that you will need that is in the pinned comment. Happy Thanksgiving to my American friends. All right. And Black Friday to the rest of you. Tell me about Gemini. What's coming up this week for Gemini? Gemini, we have some family time or some happy times. This is going to be a really good, emotionally happy week for you, my friend. We do have the Queen of Cups. Possibly you are a mother or a father. We have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Sun. Look, it looks like there. this is going to be a week of maybe visiting, good communication. It feels like... Um, it feels like that somebody here is going to get some really beautiful, clear, emotional communication. And I feel like it's some sort of breakthrough for some of you. It could be someone you haven't heard of or heard from in a really long time. We do have the, um, the Ten of Cups here, which tells me that with the sun here and the Ten of Cups, that this is, it makes you ecstatic. Like you are jumping for joy from this communication. It feels like somebody here is really excited to hear about someone. It might be someone that you love. Like it could be a family member that you love or someone who feels like family. Someone that you haven't spoken with in a while. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. We have the Justice card. We have the Judgment card in the reverse and the Five of Pentacles. It's an apology is what it is. I feel like it's an apology that's coming here, Gemini. So we do have the um, Justice card. I feel like you are finally getting some sort of karmic justice. Somebody who's contacting you is going to tell you that they're sorry they misjudged you. They misjudged you in a way that put a wedge between you and them. It left you on the outside looking in or them on the outside looking in. But there is a separation or a lot of lack here in the 3D world. And so I feel like when this person calls you back and is very clear that they misjudged you, that they shouldn't have been so harsh with you. I feel this gives you karmic justice. You're like, I'm so grateful this person has communicated with me. So this is a like a happy time on steroids here. I'm going to say this is going to be a really good week for you, Gemini. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords and the Six of Wands. It does feel like you were holding on to the hope that somebody was going to finally say something. Because I feel as though this person you feel belongs in your tribe or belongs in your family. So it could be a family member or a best friend or somebody that you would have considered to be a family member. For some of you, it could be someone that you have a lot of love for romantically. Take it as it resonates for you. But the Six of Wands here tells me that you're about to cheer, uh, have a lot of attention. It feels like we're going to have a lot of conversations. The King of Swords is here, but it feels like what we're going to do with the conversations is we're going to sort things out because that's what the King of Swords does, makes heads and tails of what is truthful and honest from what is not so truthful and honest. But I feel like with the Six of Wands and the King of Swords, this is going to be all good conversation. I feel like you were holding on to the hope that this person would kind of come to their senses and I feel like they finally have. I feel like you were holding on to hope that there would be conversation. Look, it's the for some of you, it could be the King of Swords that you've been waiting to hear from or the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups could be a mother. King of Swords could be a father. Take it as it resonates for you. These could also be friends, other players in your life. Could be a Libra, uh, Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy, maybe a Virgo, Pisces, or a Leo, possibly. The outcome is the Hierophant. We do have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the King of Cups. Look, it does really feel like there is a group of people coming together, and I feel like the fact that this person, whoever they are, the one who always is right, it feels like this person, they could not bring themselves to say, look, maybe I wasn't right. Maybe I was wrong. It feels like somebody here is about to admit their fault. Um, I want to say that um, 
that the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups is giving me the energy of we finally have stability in our emotions. We have now are coming back together and we're emotionally intelligent. We're no longer taking passive-aggressive jabs at each other. I feel like this time apart between you and somebody else, Gemini, is really... Um, a lesson learned and I think that's why the Hierophant is showing up here. It feels like a lesson's been learned and that we are now pretty stable in our emotions and that's why we're able to come together and make this work. I feel like there is somebody here who's used to always being right and they are now admitting fault. They're admitting that they weren't right because I feel like they miss your love whether it was a motherly, fatherly kind of love or whether it was a romantic love or a friendship love, they really just want to get more stability with you here. I feel like somebody's grown up or learned some lessons. We're looking at kings and queens here. We've got the strength card. Yeah, we got rebirth. I love it. Look at that. Somebody is choosing love. It's really beautiful, Gemini. Somebody is choosing love. Someone is finding the strength to come forward, to apologize. And this is somebody who would never, ever apologize. This is someone who will never admit that they were wrong and went over some of the wrong facts, possibly. They were very sharp with their tongue. I feel like with the lovers here, it's telling me that they are choosing to transform this whole situation. And it's taken a lot of a lot of courage, a lot of strength. Got the high priestess. It's been quiet for some time with you and somebody else here. <clears throat> All right. It could be parents. It could be children that have not really been speaking with the parents or a child not speaking with the parents. It feels like somebody is about to show up and say, look, maybe I wasn't right. Maybe I was wrong. Got Leo, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, more Gemini. We've got Scorpio energy, Virgo, Pisces, Libra. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, more Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, more Pisces. Well, that's beautiful. I hope that works out for somebody here. I would love to hear that it did. All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. If you're interested in a private read, there is a 10% sale on. Please look at the pinned comment. There is a code you need to take with you over to Wizio. The code and the, the link to the um, website are both in that pinned comment below this video. Tell me about Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The sneak peek for this week. Next seven days for Cancer, please. All right. Those fell out. We're going to use them. Let's find out what is going on here. Got the Two of Swords, Five of Cups. Moons are cups in this deck. We've got the Knight of Wands. We've got Temperance in the reverse. We've got the Ace of Swords. Or sorry, the Ace of Wands, the Five of Wands, and we've got the Page of Cups bottom of the deck we've got the king of wands cancer it feels like there is somebody here who wants to come forward and speak with you it's like there's been there's been a block in communication or possibly you've decided you don't really want to have anything more to do with this situation Although you don't want to have anything more to do with the situation, Cancer, it does feel like you're still in some type of regret about it. It feels like you don't want to get back together with this person, um, if it is romantic or even if it's platonic. And what I mean is you don't want to speak with them. You don't want them back in your life. It feels like something has been damaged uh, beyond repair is what it feels like. And it might be because of somebody who is not giving you a whole lot of stable energy or maybe you weren't giving someone else a whole lot of stable energy. I feel like somebody placed a block or is has decided that I, I can't think about this anymore. The Ace of Wands and the Five of Wands is Six Wands. It feels like somebody here wants victory. They want victory and it feels like you, you know that you can't have it. Temperance is in the reverse. The answer is no. The universe is saying this Knight of Wands is not, is not for you. We've got the, um, the Five of Cups. Yeah, it is regretful. I feel like it almost feels like this is someone you had fun with or, you know, the good time Charlie, I like to say. And Charlie always says, yes, I am a good time. Um, Charlie's my guide. But it's like the good time Charlie, the one who's fun, the one who's risk, a risk taker. I feel like this is the person that I feel like you're you're almost remembering the fun that you guys had together. But also, I feel like you know that there's no way that we can go back. 
it feels like um, that there is, it feels like you want to go back, but you've been holding back because of the Two of Swords. The Ace of Wands tells me that maybe you've decided it's time for another path. You want this victory, but I feel like it's going to take a really big apology in order to get this all back together again. I feel like there's somebody here you're not speaking with, but you have memories of. And it almost feels like you're thinking about the excitement or the passion you shared or, um, you know, the risks that you took together. Like, um, it feels like it's maybe someone you traveled with or um, had maybe that maybe the Knight of Wands is desire, but it's also instability. And it feels like you don't want this instability anymore. And that's the regret. It's like, I can't go back there. There was nothing stable for me. got the ten of swords yeah there's something here that is ended here we've got the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles i feel like you had to release the ace of pentacles i feel like you were ready to invest in someone what i mean by that is if it's platonic you were ready to maybe you know be their roommate or um you know maybe move to wherever they are uh, you know it feels like that sort of energy if it's romantic it feels like somebody here had to release the the ace of pentacles so i feel like you decided to not invest in this situation that you would be better off single or by yourself. The Ten of Swords tells me that something came to a really painful end. And so it was something that I feel like you're finally releasing. Because down here, it almost feels like you're woulda, shoulda, coulda, but what if I would have done this better or said that better? And I don't feel like you should hang on that energy. I feel like there's a reason that things end and it's so you'll stop going that way. So I feel like this Ace of Pentacles is what you're going to invest in yourself, in your business, in your courage, in your, um, yeah, being single. I feel like you're you're on this path by yourself here, Cancer, and that's exactly, um, I feel, where you're supposed to be. You were never supposed to be with that person back there, whether they are platonic or romantic connection to you. They were supposed to be in your life for a time to teach you some things, and then they were supposed to go. We've got the King of Cups, but I feel like there was big love there. I feel like you really love this person, whether it's platonically or romantically. I feel like you're keeping this all under the surface, that you really were ready to invest, like you were ready to stay, to maybe get married, to maybe get engaged, to maybe move in if it's romantic. It feels like somebody here was, was feeling like they were ready to do it, and then all of a sudden something went down here. It may have been like the king of, or sorry, the knight of swords can be somebody who's meddling in the relationship. Maybe there was a third party you didn't know about. Tell me what the outcome is. We've got the page of wands, we've got the four of wands, and we've got the justice card. I just want to say it. I feel like I feel like you you weren't supposed to be with this person forever. They were supposed to teach you a lesson and then they were supposed to leave your life. It feels like it may not feel like it right now, but I feel like you in this week are probably going to have a realization that you actually do have justice at this time. It feels like um, the justice is that now you have stability. Um, you can do what you want when you want to do it. Page of Wands, right? You can... You can take risks, you can go on a new path, you don't have to go on a new path, but it also feels like you still have this energy of, I wished we could have had just one last conversation. It feels like a little bit of regret, but it also feels like you're kind of glad that it's done. Like, I, it's sort of a weird feeling of like, you're, you're glad that you've got your justice now, but it does feel like, you know, I'm always gonna have memories of that time with that person whether they are a platonic or romantic friend. We do have the hanged man energy. We have the seven of swords. Uh, that's what it was, see? I feel like you couldn't trust this person 
or you you couldn't trust them or they couldn't trust you it feels like you with the seven of swords here i feel like there was some stuff under the surface that you were holding back or in this pause i feel like you paused and maybe that person carried on to someone else but it feels like with the hanged man which is the pause is the new perspective it feels like with the seven of swords it's like maybe i was lying to myself and it never should have been the ten of pentacles and i have to tell you that's what i'm feeling here i feel like this was not supposed to be the person that you moved in with got engaged to or married this was not supposed to be the long-term relationship because i feel like there were things under the surface here that you couldn't even see and i think that that is why it broke up that's why the universe moved this person out of your way because there were things you couldn't see that the universe could see uh, we've got the Eight of Swords, and under the Eight of Swords, we've got the Two of Moons. You hesitated is what it was. I feel like you had a chance to have um, some sort of long-term relationship with somebody here, and you hesitated. Maybe they talked about wanting to get married, or you guys talked about maybe moving in together, or, you know, there was a lot of talks going on, but nobody really made a move. And I think it's because it was supposed to be that way. I feel like you... With this justice and the four of wands if you don't see it now i think that you'll eventually see it that the ability to be able to do what you want when you want to do it is really how you want to be and being on your own being in the nine of pentacles i feel is what is supposed to be going on here look when the temperance shows up in the reverse it's no joke it's like this was not supposed to happen this was not my plan for you this was not the universe's plan for you this was something that you were headed for that actually wasn't for you and there was a lot of things that were hanging in the air that you couldn't see and that's why this thing didn't work out so i'm sorry to tell you that you're kind of on the path i'm glad to tell you you're on the path you're supposed to be on but i'm sorry to tell you that that thing back there was never supposed to work out so um, we do have scorpio pisces cancer energy we have uh, libra gemini and aquarius we have aries sagittarius leo we have um, libra we have sagittarius again yeah. It does feel like that was never supposed to be for you. This is what it feels like. All right. Tell me about Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Leo, if you're interested in a private read, there is a sale. 10% off. You do need a code. And the link to Wizio is in the pinned comment below this video. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sneak peek for this week for... Woo! Leo. All right, what's flying around, Leo? Hang on, there we go. Got the Five of Wands. So this week is going to be a week of maybe battling yourself, but also maybe there's competition you're worried about. Maybe you're holding back, have some indecision about what you wanna do next. Tell me about Leo. We've got the Strength card. We've got the Four of Cups. And the Nine of Cups. Leo, it feels like you are trying to find the strength this week to tell somebody that it's not for you. The situation is not for you. The job is not for you. The, um, the relationship is not for you. I feel like this week you're trying to find the courage to say something, to stop holding back. It feels like with the four of cups here i'm just showing here right like it feels like there is there's something here that you don't want that you've been maybe you've been avoiding someone or not really speaking with them i think it's because you have been having you've realized here that i feel like you want to be happy and single that you're you're happier being single than you are being in tandem with somebody whether that is just dating or a relationship or whatever it is. I feel like the five of wands here is telling me that you have to deliver some bad news or news that the other person is going to see as bad news. And that is that you're, they're going to make, they're going to feel rejected, but it's going to be your wish fulfillment. Tell me about the five of wands. got the ten of pentacles it does feel like you're in some sort of long-term relationship here that you that you don't want to be in now I'm, I'm just i have the feeling that i'm talking to somebody who didn't realize that they were in a relationship somebody who hmm it feels like this is it feels like someone 
one of you, and I feel like it's the other person. I'm just going to say, Leo, I feel like you created a habit with somebody, which is maybe you were seeing them a few times a week, or you were talking to them every day, or chatting, you know, maybe texting them every day, and it got somebody into a pattern. It got them into a pattern of feeling like this is a relationship. I don't think that was your intention. I'm just going to say, I don't think that it was. I feel as though that you were just as surprised as I am looking at the Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you realize that this person thought, oh, this is heading toward something stable. This is heading toward a long-term relationship. And I don't think that you want it. I feel like with the Five of Wands here, it's telling me that there is, um, that you're beating yourself up about this but i feel like you're about to deliver some some information that somebody is not going to be happy with i feel like you feel that if you were to settle down and be with this person in a long-term relationship that you would be settling and i feel that you feel that there's more out there for you you i, I really think that somebody here i think it's you maybe leo please don't get offended it's suffering from fomo right fear of missing out it feels like you're a person who doesn't settle with anybody because you feel like there's something better coming along. That's what it feels like here. And you're it's okay if you feel that way. But I feel like you're going to be surprised that somebody here is feeling like, oh, this is a long-term relationship and Leo is my person. But I feel like you're the one that's going to have to take charge of the situation this week and have the talk. It does look like the King of Swords is about to raise the sword and have the communication that is truthful and honest and aloof and detached and head over heart. And it feels like you're preparing with this Eight of Cups to walk away or detach emotionally here. Um, the Five of Pentacles with the King of Swords here tells me that we have to have a conversation about, you know, I feel like we need to break up or this really isn't what I thought it was. This, I don't really want to be in a relationship. It does feel like it happens really quickly. Two fives here for me is quick change. Um, but it does feel like... You're, someone is not going to be absolutely happy to hear this news. It feels like you've you've realized or you've decided that you no longer want to cater to someone else. And just like somebody here is like doing their own thing and the other person is trying to offer them a cup of coffee and it almost feels like you felt like you had to dote on someone and I feel like you're not ready for that. I feel like you are stable and secure on your own. Um, feels like you are going to have to take charge of this conversation. You are going to have to be the one who opens the conversation to tell somebody that this is not what you think it is. This is not a long-term relationship. That's not what I'm looking for. We've got the Page of Wands. Yeah, because it feels like um, you're still in this like free and fun sort of energy. Like you don't really want to settle down. The Page of Wands is taking risks and going on new paths and throwing the wand in the air and I'm going to follow wherever the wand goes. Like it feels like you are not interested in um, settling down and I feel like the talk about that is going to be this week. Um, I feel like it's best that you do talk about it because I feel like otherwise the whole week you're going to be beating yourself up about it. Tell me what the outcome is, please, for Leo. We've got the Eight of Wands in the reverse. We've got the Hermit energy. And we've got the Three of Wands. I feel, Leo, that you're going to have the talk and then you're just going to go straight into Hermit energy here. I feel like it's, and, and I don't think that you are happy about having to deliver this information. I don't think that it makes you happy. In fact, I feel like you're beating yourself up about it. I really do feel that you know that this person is not the one. And look, I'm going to tell you a hundred times that if it's not the one, don't play along. It's best to just be honest and truthful. And look, the King of Swords is here. It's going to be kind of tough, but I feel like you're going to detach from whatever this is. And you're going to tell this person, I don't intend on getting in a relationship because I'm not here to serve somebody constantly. Like, that's not what I want to do. Not everybody wants to get into that tandem situation, right? So the Three of Wands tells me that you're still out there looking for the right one. I feel like you're going into hermit energy as soon as you have the talk and that everything is going to end up completely and totally quiet between you and this person. What comes next for Leo? Yeah, you do have to liberate yourself. 
the thing is this is that, you know the nine of wands tells me that that I don't think that you feel you're ready for anything that is long-term or serious. I feel like you're still working on you. The Nine of Wands is here, which tells me that you are trying to deal with your traumas, trying to deal with life. Life has been heavy. I feel like the sun is here and I feel like it's going to get better. It's the best that you speak up because the Queen of Swords would do that. The sun is here and I feel like when the sun is here, it's like a breakthrough that I did the right thing. I did the right thing. I said what I had to say. And um, it's because I'm not ready. And so many people get into relationships where they're not ready. And that's what ends results in broken hearts. And I feel like um, that you had to kind of put the brakes on it and tell somebody that's not what this is about. I feel like this person is probably going to be someone who is very honest and truthful with you as well. They probably are going to use a little bit of cutting words. We do have the Ten of Wands. So it feels like here that you've been carrying around some sort of burden on purpose. Ten of Wands in the reverse for me is that you don't want to let it go. It's almost like a little bit of martyrdom energy. It's like you feel like you should hurt because you're about to hurt somebody. I don't feel like anybody deserves to be hurt. Not that person and not you. I think you're supposed to and are allowed to do whatever it is that you need to do for you, Leo, in order to be happy. This is your life too. You're not here to appease people. So we have uh, Aries, Sag sorry, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We have Leo energy here. We have Virgo. I feel like, you know, you're taking your time and really thinking about it as well. We have the uh, the Emperor here who is Aries. Uh, we have some Leo energy here. It feels like, uh, yeah, it feels like you have to have the talk this week because if it goes much further, then, you know, when you realize it's not for you, but you don't say anything, that's when it becomes sort of the blame is on you. So when you realize what's going on and you don't want that to go any further, it's really time to release somebody kindly as best as you can. I mean, it's the King of Swords energy. All right, Virgo, let's find out what's going on for you. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Virgo, there is a sale on Private Reads, 10% off. The uh, code and the link is in the pinned comment below this video at the top of all of the comments. Tell me about Virgo. Sneak peek for this week. Virgo, what's the energy for you in the next seven days? We have the Nine of Wands. So something here that I feel is, is hard for you that you're dealing with this week. We have the King of Swords. It might be some news that you're not exactly happy with. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse. Oof, all these Thor swords. Wow. Virgo, I'm just going to say, I feel like this week you're going to get some information that you're not necessarily going to be happy with. I feel like you thought that when this communication came in that it would release some of your burdens, but I feel it actually adds to them. I'm just going to say. Somebody wants to know if you're willing to reconcile. If you're really, if you're willing to reconcile something with them. I feel like somebody who is Gosh, it feels like th this is somebody who I feel, you know, that there was something that was between you. And it does feel like it, it might be a friend or a family member. It could be romantic for some of you. But it feels like somebody wants to reconcile with you, but you're not healed enough to do that. I feel like whatever devastation they caused in terms of whatever they said, the King of Swords is here. I don't think it was what they said. I think it was the way they say it. They said it to you. Virgo, I feel like it was very detached, that there was, um, it was very sharp, it was very factual, um, it was, it could have been done a little kinder. I feel like this person is doubling back here because we are in Merc Mercury retrograde shadow period right now. And I feel like somebody wants to resolve something with you with the Five of Swords in the reverse, but I don't think you've recovered yet, honestly. I feel like you're still in the Nine of Wands energy. With the Three of Swords here, it feels like you've not yet recovered from what they said back there. This could be a father. Look, we've got a king here, right? Kings are masters of their domains. So it could be uh, the King of Swords could be uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Got a lot of swords here. There's a lot of things that are going on in the mind. We have the Ace of Cups. Got the Two of Swords. 
and we've got the Hierophant. So I feel like that's what's going on in your mind right now, Virgo. I feel like, I feel as though you can't stop thinking about the things this person said and how they said them to you. I think this is somebody that you either maybe used to be in a relationship with or somebody that you were married to, somebody you intended to marry. Uh, it feels like it, we were pretty far deep into this relationship when all of this occurred here. It feels like the Ace of Cups tells me that you can't go any further because the Two of Swords is here. I can't go any further on this path with you because of this conversation. It feels like um, somebody is doubling back to see if they can get you back, but I feel like the damage is done, I'm going to say, Virgo. You're not the one who forgives the easiest, right? And I... I'm not even I'm not even blaming it you, you. I, I feel like that it feels like the energy here is that somebody lied to you and then tried to cover up the lie and you figured out what was going on and then this person tried to talk their way out of it and then finally they came clean like it feels like you can't even trust this person anymore we've got the high priestess The Wheel of Fortune is here. Yeah, this person wants you to change your mind. They want you to change your mind, but I feel like the High Priestess is here telling me that you just don't even want to talk about it, that there's nothing left to say. Look, when Virgo makes their decision, they make their decision. That's an earth sign for you. When Virgo makes their decision, they're not going back on what they said. And so... Um, the earth signs are, are like that. We go very slow, right? Whether you are Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, go very, very slow at a situation um, to make sure that I'm right and I don't make any mistakes. And it's almost like a perfection thing. But then when you take me outside of that, then I, I can't do it again. But it feels like somebody wants another chance. They want to come back around again here. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is kind of giving me that energy of, look, we can make it work if we could just talk about it. But I feel like you're in this high priestess energy and you are your intuition is telling you, I've got enough information. I don't need any more information here. We do have the magician. I feel like you could, if you said yes, you could bring it back together in a minute. It feels like you, it feels like you, through this situation, you figured out, look, I know my worth. I know my worth and I'm not um, I'm not going to deal with somebody who's not completely honest with me. This person's coming back around because they're going to ask you if you want to get together again and try this long-term thing again. Should we, should we try it again? And I don't think you want it. The outcome is the Seven of Swords. I was seeing the Five and the Two here, the Seven of Swords, and it's right here. And then we have the Queen of Wands. It does feel like someone cheated on another person and found out about it and confronted that person and that person lied to them, straight up lied to them. And then when they came with the proof, the facts, the information, when the proof and the facts were there, Virgo, I think that you knew all the details and you were waiting for this person to be honest with you. And when they weren't honest with you, this is this is the outcome here. I always see the, the Queen of Wands in this type of situation to me is, an, is another person or the other woman. And I feel like somebody finally was truthful and honest about the situation, but now you can't trust them anymore. Where do you go from here? Look, I feel like it's... um. I feel like you have a certain amount of happiness from liberating yourself from the situation. It feels like you deal with this as the King of Cups would. So you're compassionate and you're kind. And I feel like it is, uh, you're emotionally intelligent. You don't lose your crap. I feel like you're just really truthfully honest with this person, right? Because that's what the Queen of Swords would do. And the King of Cups is softening that energy just a little bit. I feel like it's because it almost feels like a relief that you now know that this person was a liar. Imagine if you would have married them. Imagine if you would have gotten into a deep commitment with them. It feels like you're you're turning this person away in the kindest way possible and saying, no, no, thank you. That's not what I want. I'm going to work on myself now. Yeah. I feel like you have abundance coming in the future. I just saw the Empress here. And it feels like after a time of maybe sacrificing the self, got the hanged man here, that it's time for you to experience some, some happiness here. We've got Taurus energy. We've got Aries and Gemini. We've got um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Pisces. We've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, as I said. There we go. Libra, Taurus, possibly. 
All right. Libra. Let's talk about Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sneak peek for this week, Libra. If you're interested in a private read, there is a sale on 10% off until the 30th of November. If you would... Uh, if you want that discount, you will need the code that is in the pinned comment, and the link to Wizio is there. As long as you book by midnight or bef before midnight on the 30th, you will get that, um, that discount. All right. Tell me about Libra. All right. Card popped out. Got the Eight of Wands. You're going to have a quick moving week here. Things are going to be moving fast. It's an energetic week. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Got the Two of Wands. Feels like you're um, you are going to be moving forward on something that you've been thinking about for a while. It feels like you've been preparing for this. It feels like you've been preparing for things to move quicker because you're releasing some burdens. It's almost like a, it's like grabbing onto the balloons, right? The helium balloons. I'm seeing, I'm seeing that movie, that Disney movie. Up, I think it's called. It feels like you're now floating. Like you're, it feels like with the eight and the two here that you're releasing some burdens and now you can leave the two of wands. There's no more preparation here. Now you're, you're hopeful that things are going to work out. Um, it feels like you are in balance, I'm going to say. Tell me more about Libra. We have the eight of pentacles. I really feel like you've been really working hard on yourself here. There's something here that you've been working hard on. For some of you, it could be a job. It could be something that you're really good at, that you're becoming a special specialty at. Like it feels like you're really honing a skill of some sort. It could be you are the person that you're honing the skills for. Like I feel like it could be self-mastery, but it could be the workplace. It could be subject matter expert. But I feel like you're being very practical with your time. It feels like you have, you ha now have hope that something is going to work in your favor or that you have the energy to work really hard on something because now you've, you've um, released some sort of burdens that you were carrying here and it's making you feel lighter. Things are about to move forward um, quicker now. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. We've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Devil Energy. And we've got the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So it feels like no more juggling. No more juggling of toxic relationships. So that's what it is. You've released someone and you've decided, I feel, that you're going to instead work on yourself. It's like, I'm going to be the star now. I'm healing me. I'm going to get my stability emotionally. I'm going to get my stability in the pentacle world. It feels like you've decided you're going to release something and you're going to work on the self. It's going to pay off. Eight and two is ten. It's going to pay off for you. It feels like the two of pentacles being in the reverse tells me that you're no longer juggling these toxic um these toxic dates, toxic relationships. It feels like someone is deleting the apps. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I, I don't want to do this with for myself anymore. Um, it feels like you are releasing that here. And you're probably just going to work on yourself. And I feel that that is making you feel more at peace. We do have the Justice card. Yep, there it is. Justice and the Lovers. And we do have the Eight of Swords. It does feel like you're tired of trying to make decisions about relationships and you're scared you're going to get hurt, is what it feels like. With the Devil and the Ace of Cups here, it feels like all you keep finding is people who are love bombers or who are toxic or people who have addictions. Or it feels like that you've decided you're not, you're not even doing that anymore. I'm not juggling it. I'm not taking a chance anymore. I'm just going to level everything. Um, the justice card is telling me that you just need peace, um, that you just need, you need justice in the lover's energy, but the eight of swords is here. So it tells me, you know, I don't really think I want to do this anymore. It feels like I, I worry that I'm going to find the wrong person or the wrong person is going to find me. I feel like you're just ready to spend time by yourself this week. Uh, Libra, tell me what the outcome is for Libra, please. I feel like you're in this hermit energy. I feel like you're deleting the apps or in the hermit energy. You're like, no, maybe I'm just better by myself, working on myself, paying attention to me and uh, healing the self. Tell me about the outcome, please, for Libra. We've got the King of Cups. We've got the Nine of Cups. And we've got the Prince of Cups. So in the outcome, there's a lot of emotional energy here. 
I feel like you've chosen to be single and happy. It feels like you have decided to fill your own cup. I want to say that you are working on your own emotions. I think it, it feels almost like, Libra, like I don't really know that you know what you want. But I feel like what you keep attracting is people who are who are not in the place where they should be dating. It's almost like you, you keep finding people that are codependent, like they won't leave you alone. They won't give you five minutes to yourself. And that's not what you want. What you do love is your alone time. You love to spend time thinking, full of wisdom, right? Trying to heal the self. We've got two indications here that maybe you've realized, actually this kind of happened to me a long while ago, that after dating one after the other after the other and they're not working, you're like, you know what, maybe, maybe I'm just not for the streets. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not for the dating world. Maybe I just need to spend time with me, focusing on me, doing things for me. And I think that's where you're at right now. It feels like, yeah, it would be nice if I had a romantic connection. But you know what? I think I'm single and happy. And I'm just going to move slowly here. And I'm going to um, work on myself, love the self. Uh, we've got the, uh, the world card. The hanged man energy and the sun. There we go. So it's like you have some sort of a breakthrough because I feel like you've been sacrificing yourself to go on these relationships with people that maybe are codependent or, um, you know, maybe dating. The Ace of Cups tells me that um, it feels like you, you keep finding people that are it's like you're always at the ace, right? You never get any further than the ace. It's like you meet them, they're not for you, they're codependent, they won't leave you alone. Like it feels like that sort of energy here. So the world card is here. I feel like you're ending this chapter because you've already gotten a perspective on it because the sun is here and you had some sort of a breakthrough. And I feel like you're going through this growth period as well. And I feel like you have realized that maybe the dating world isn't for you right now and you're going to just spend some time with you, two of swords. Yeah, I feel like you're just going to block anybody who is trying to come forward and get some sort of relationship relationship time out of you. I don't think you're down for it here. We've got Gemini energy. We've got Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We've got Virgo energy as well. Gemini. We've got Libra. We've got Capricorn energy, Aquarius. Lots of water, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer energy this week. All right, Scorpio. Here we go. Take a sip of the tea. How you doing, Scorpio? Sorry for the slurp. And um, yeah, happy birthday. I hope you're having a beautiful um, Scorpio season. I think it's lovely. We all are already into the Mercury retrograde shadow. Maybe that's been affecting you. But happy birthday, friends. If you haven't yet shared your birthday, if it's today is your birthday, happy birthday to you. If I missed it, happy birthday. And some of you are sharing in the comments. Thanks for doing that. Just want to celebrate you. Um, Scorpio, if you're interested in a private reading, uh, please look into the pinned comment. There is a sale, 10% off. You do need a code and you'll need a link to get to Wizio. It's all in that pinned comment below the video. Tell me about Scorpio. It's coming up the sneak peek for this week for Scorpio. We've got the Five of Cups. What are you going to be regretful about this week? The Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Swords, Page of Wands. It feels like somebody here is about to leave work, leave a job. Possibly. If it is if it is that, that's the first energy that I'm getting, that's the first hit that I get off of these cards, that I feel like you are somebody, Scorpio, who is really incredibly good at what you do, but I feel like it's going unnoticed. I feel like it's going unnoticed and you're tired of being taken for granted. I feel like you're probably working for an employer that you don't trust, that you feel is trying to get away with something. And I feel like the Page of Wands is telling me you're ready for something new and exciting and fresh. I feel like this Emperor energy being in the future tells me that you're just wondering how to say it. How do I quit? How do I quit my job, right? Because I don't really have a whole lot of money saved. Uh, what am I going to do? It feels like, um, it feels like you're, you're possibly putting in your notice this week feels like that this um the seven of swords here with the the five of cups is telling me you don't like where you are that it's not any fun anymore um it's now it's like it's it's hard like when the alarm goes off in the morning you're like oh i gotta go back to that place like it feels like it's not it's not something that you want to do anymore feels like you are dealing with an employer who tries to get away with some stuff 
you know, those creepy ones, right? Mandatory overtimes. They want you to be there before 15 minutes before your job starts. So you give them more time than it's even worth. It feels like you work for a crummy employer that you're thinking about leaving. We've got the Page of Pentacles. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. And we've got the Five of Swords. So I feel like you don't want to go out in a blaze of glory. You don't really want to go out with the arguments and the fights. I feel like you've been at the place where you've been at for a while because it feels like you've been trying to save money. And I feel like now you've, you've saved enough that if you don't find a job right away, that um, you can... You can um, survive. I feel like somebody here feels like they they have enough. Um, the nine of pentacles is here. And so it feels like you feel like you have enough. Maybe you've started a business on the side. For some of you, you could have done that. And now you're ready to leave the job that you're at and go to uh, go to work for your business full time. This is a, there is an opportunity. It could be another job has shown up here. Uh, the page of pentacles is here. It could be you have another opportunity on the table. It feels like you're tired of fighting, I want to say. You're tired of fighting for what should have been yours in the first place. Yeah. You don't like the way they run their business. They could be corrupt in your eyes. It feels like there is, whenever you try and say something or stand up and say something, that it's just arguments and fights. It's fundamental differences. You don't like the way they run their business. You feel like you're working for a place that might be kind of corrupt. And the only justice that you have is to keep moving. The Eight of Swords. And the 10, oh, you're moving to a, a job, I feel, that has way more money. So if you don't have a job right now, I feel like if you've already quit the job, it feels like um, there is an opportunity that is coming. It feels like it's going to be quite lucrative. I was looking at the 9 and the 1 here. 9, 1 pentacles is 10. And then the 10 showed up. I should have called it. But I feel like this justice here is going to break you out of this 8 of swords. I feel like you're going to use the justice to cut yourself out of this 8 of swords energy. Where you, I feel like you've been stuck. Stuck with an employer that I feel was not giving you any justice. It feels like um, it feels like this justice energy is like they they don't do the right thing. It's time to go. Five and one is six, right? We have the the six swords. There's one in the hand of justice. It feels like somebody here feels like the place where they are is quite chaotic. Hmm. I'm hearing pink. Um, <clears throat> Um, that's All I Know So Far is the name of the song. And she says, throw your head back and spit in the wind. Um, let the walls crack because it lets the light in. Yeah. That's All I Know So Far is the name of the song. So I feel like you're, you're doing something really brave. And I feel that you are going to be rewarded with the Ten of Pentacles. It does feel like you're sort of up in your head about, am I doing the right thing? Justice tells me, yes, you are doing the right thing. The outcome is the Seven of, the seven of um, Cups. It is the star energy. And we've got the five of wands in the reverse. Look, I feel like it's really overwhelming for you. This whole week is going to be overwhelming because I feel like it's this week where you come to this place of, you know what, I need more excitement. I need a new opportunity. And I feel like you are going to find that new opportunity. I want to say, please make sure that you're planning your way out for those of you who cannot afford to quit your job and then go look for another. Um, but it feels like somebody here already that I'm connecting with already has the money in the bank or I feel pretty confident as I go into this communication with my employer and tell them that I'm leaving. I'm pretty confident that they're probably going to say, you know, something to me. And I, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to say, but I feel like you use this sword that's in the hand of justice here to cut your yourself away here um, of something that has had you trapped in the mind. I feel like this place was a good place to start, but it feels like there's a place that's going to offer you more. It feels like this, um, this outcome is telling me that you are the star, what you're confused about is that you might be the manager or the manager's manager or somebody who is the teacher or somebody who is the one who 
um, who has all of the education, who teaches the other people. And what you're confused about is that even though you're the star of the show, it feels like they can't see it. And they're, if they can't, they're never going to. So I feel like you decide to no longer hold back with the Five of Wands and it's time for you to go. Tell me what's around the corner, please, for Scorpio. We've got the Nine of Wands. Ah, there it is. Yeah, you're leaving the toxic place is what you're doing here. So you're leaving you're leaving this, this toxic energy here, which I feel is exactly what you need here. Um, feels like you felt chained to it, and now you're finally releasing it here because, yeah, because of the Nine of Wands, because they didn't treat you really well. And um, it's, it's become really hard. You know, uh, when you're in a workplace that is not good for you, I'm sure that you know if you're a person who's in a toxic workplace that um, it can really be hard on your mental health, really hard on your mental health. Yeah, you're going to find, look at this, you're going to find something that pays probably twice or three times as much as what you were making and you're absolutely going to love it. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. It's your choice. I feel like you're the one that's making the choice to move and it's a, I feel like it's a good choice. It's what you're supposed to be doing here, Scorpio. Besides, you're the, you're the planner. You've been planning and and uh, planning your way out of this for a while, you wouldn't just jump ship. You would be planning, right? But getting money in the bank, making sure that you have what you need. Um, we do have lots of cycles that are ending here. We've got uh, Capricorn energy. We've got Libra. We've got Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here as well as Aquarius. Um, yeah. And Gemini. You're gone. <laughs> it's the last card on the table. You're out of there. Oh, and I just got a buzzing in my left ear, which means that we're on the right track. All right, Sagittarius, <clears throat> my Saggy family. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Sag. Sneak peek for this week, Sag, if you're interested in a private read, there is a sale. 10% off all of my services. There is a code and a link uh, to where you need to be in order to get that... Um, in order to get the 10% off, please look at the pinned comment below. And that sale is only on until the 30th of November. It is a Black Friday uh, Thanksgiving special. Tell me about Sagittarius. What's coming up this week, next seven days? Ooh, something's becoming clear to you, Sag. You're going to get clarity. You're going to get the answer that you've been looking for. Something is going to be made clear to you this week. That somebody thinks that you are the star. You're the brightest one in the room, the uh, most attractive one in the room. When you smile, you light up the room. Um, we've got the Five of Pentacles and the Empress. <laughs> All right. So you could be the Empress. You don't have to be Libra or Taurus to be the Empress. Please know that the Empress is all of the Queens as well. It's all about wisdom. It's about growth and it's about knowing who you are, becoming stable on your own. It feels like you are going to get an answer this week that you have been waiting for or looking for. And I don't think that you're really waiting, waiting. Do you know what I mean? It feels like you had a question and I feel that that question is going to be answered for you this week, Sagittarius. It feels like there is somebody here who has kind of left you out in the cold, I want to say. If um, if we're talking about a romantic thing, it does feel like there is somebody here who I feel like you had communication with and um, all of a sudden, nothing. It feels like somebody sort of went off grid, left the, left the chat. Somebody here I feel is in a comfort zone and it's hard for them to move around, hard for them to make decisions. It feels like um, this king of swords whether they represent a person or an energy. I'm looking at this as an energy. This could be a person in your life. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. We've got Aquarius here. We've got Libra and Taurus here. So it feels like this. there's uh, something that is going to be made abundantly clear to you this week. And I think that, um, I think that 
the king, if the king is somebody who you know, or somebody who's acting like this king of swords, aloof, sort of not showing any affection, not really showing, you know, being very straightforward and honest and truthful, this person is maybe feeling a little bit detached to you, and maybe the five of pentacles is telling me they really have detached from you. It feels like you might be, um, if you are the feminine leaning energy, you might be the empress. And I feel like this week, you are in a space with this person, and they are realizing... I gave up the star. I stopped talking to the star. I've got the Justice card. I've got the Four of Pentacles. And we've got the Eight of Wands. I feel like this person... So look, in my head, in my mind's eye, I'm seeing a social situation where you're going to be in a group of people where this person shows up. I feel like you know that they're going to be there. And it feels like that... This person is showing up because they're like, well, I'm going to get justice with the Empress. The Empress gave me their energy before. I'm going to get justice with the Empress, and I'm going to have the Empress on my arm. It feels like this person is coming forward to um, speak with you, give you more energy, take their shot with you. The Four of Pentacles tells me that they've been holding on to the idea that, oh, yeah, now I'm sure I'm going to get back in the good graces with the Empress. I don't think anything bad happened. That's the thing. I feel like we just had conversation, and then we didn't talk after that. This person didn't pursue. You didn't pursue. Take it as it resonates for you, whether you're the masculine or the feminine. I feel like this, this king is pretty... Um, confident that they're going to get justice and they're holding on to this oh, i'm just going to take my shot and then this empress is going to buckle at the knees and and everything's going to be good but i don't know that that's the way it's going to end up i just don't feel it that way here sagittarius i feel like you're the empress and you're you're the person who's good like i'm good on my own i don't need a king i'm the empress i'm all the queens i don't really need a king right the emperor is my thing um, the king is not necessarily what I'm looking for. I, it almost feels like when this person stopped talking to you, you're like, oh, okay, well, that's not for me. That's okay, because I wasn't necessarily looking for a king. We've got, um, yeah, this person's just going to pop up. We've got the Page of Cups, got the Ten of Swords, and we've got the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> you know what it feels like, Sag? You're going to be like, nah, brah, we're friends. Yeah. That's what it feels like. It feels like it's a group of people or a community or a team thing, or maybe it's at work. Maybe you guys are all going out for dinner after work. It could be something like that, but it feels like you've already released this, this whole thing. I feel like you're like, well, if they, they're not for me, then they're not for me. That's okay. But I feel like this King of Swords is going to pop up because they're pretty sure that they've, that you are sweet on them. And I don't, I think you're sort of indifferent, I'm going to say. It feels like you're a little bit indifferent. You're like, okay, whatever. I know my worth, and I know that if it's not you, that I'm going to attract whatever is for me. I don't think you're being mean in any way. I think you're just being logical and, and honest and truthful. I've got the hermit energy here. This person is coming out of hiding. It feels like they went silent on you. Maybe they're just not a person who does very good with communicating through text, or maybe they're not a person who, um, maybe they're just not a person who usually um, does... Um, the, what can I say, the, maybe they're not the person who usually pursues, but I feel like this person's coming out of hiding and they feel like it's, it's going to be all good in the hood. And you're like, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good on my own. I'm the empress. I don't, I don't need a king. <laughs> Tell me what the outcome is, please. Tell me what the outcome is. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. This person is going to see all of your confidence. The thing is this, is I feel like you're showing up to this thing and they're showing up to this thing. And I think you, you two sort of run in the same groups here, the same community or the same, the same groups, the same teams, the same workplace, whatever it is. And I feel like this person is going to see what they've given up because the Empress is going to be the star and the King is the one in the Five of Pentacles. So they're going to have to watch from the outside looking in as you're the brightest star in the room entertaining everybody and they're going to have to watch from a distance because you're not going to give them any of your energy. They're going to watch your confidence. They're going to watch you having fun, celebration, having drinks, clinking drinks with people. They're going to wish that they pursued. And we have the death card. They're going to try and turn it around. I feel like somebody here is going to try and turn it around. They might even buy you a drink. Somebody who is, this person is quite confident that they've got you in the bag. That's what it feels like. They're quite confident that things are going to work out. But I, I don't know. This death card here tells me that you're, you've now realized you have more than one option. That was the one option. You've realized you've got more than one option. You're getting a lot of attention because you're the empress with the star. And um, 
and you're very confident about that. You're very confident about how you look and how you are on the inside. And, you know, it feels like you've, you're, maybe you're a business owner or someone who does really well in whatever it is that you work at. It feels like um, other people, you now know that you have other options. Tell me what is coming around the corner here. I feel like the death card is telling me no. No, thank you. If you're going to pause or you're you're just not going to pursue me, if you don't think that I'm worth it, I know my own worth. And if you're not going to pursue me, then I'm just going to talk to other people. Um, we've got the sun, we've got the knight of swords, and we've got the three of wands in the reverse. I feel like this person is really going to try and make their move. It feels like they're going to try and shoot their shot with you here. Um, uh, over this next week here and it feels like it's while you're in a group of people I feel like they have a breakthrough a realization but I think that their breakthrough and their realization is coming too slow I feel like this person's going to try and win you over with witty banter they're going to try and charm you and I feel like the three of wands in the reverse tells me that they're coming in hot that they're no longer waiting I don't want to wait I want this expansion now so I feel like this yeah the five of swords is you're putting up your Talk to the hand, friend. I feel like that's what it is. The five fingers, right? Five of swords. You're like, no, thank you. Nope, I've already moved on. I'm good. No, thanks. <laughs> we got the four of pentacles because you're solid, right? You're solid. You're stable. You have your own home. It's like you you don't really need anybody here. You are the magician. And maybe it got, got you caught up in your head for a little bit here. But you know that after a perspective, you got some sort of perspective on the situation that's like, no. If you're going to hesitate, then no, I'm not your person. So we do have um, Virgo energy, Pisces. Um, we do have Cancer energy here. We've got Gemini, Leo, Libra, and Taurus. We've got more Libra. We've got Scorpio energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Isn't that an interesting reading? <laughs> you're like, no, bro. Thanks, though. Thanks, anyway. All right, Capricorn. talk about Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Capricorn, there is a sale on private reads, 10% off. The uh, code that you will need and the link is in the pinned comment below this video if you're interested. Let's talk about Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. That, that sale, by the way, is only until the 30th. Tell me about Capricorn. Capricorn, there's an opportunity showing up here this week. Feels like somebody's about to put a little bit of energy into something. You might be receiving, you could be receiving a gift or a letter or a card or something that might arrive to your home in terms of a delivery. Feels like, and I'm not talking just from Amazon, I'm talking from someone, from a person that you know in the 3D here, face to face. So this is not from someone online. Uh, we've got the Six of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Look at this. We're all in the Pentacles. Everything, there's something that's about to go down in the 3D this week for you. I feel like someone has been holding on and waiting here. It feels like they they now are, feels like with the Six of Pentacles that somebody might be sending you a gift or being very um, kind with you in terms of what they're giving you. They're being very generous. And feels like with the seven of pentacles that they've been waiting or holding back. I feel if there's somebody here who's been waiting or holding back and you haven't heard from them, then I feel like you will hear from them this week. Could be platonic, could be um, romantic. Take it as it resonates for you. It is pentacle energy. There's nothing to do with cups here. This is all very grounded, practical energy, uh, 3D type energy. Tell me why the uh, page of pentacles is here. Someone is about to give you a little bit of their energy though. Someone you haven't spoken with in a while. We've got the Three of Swords. We've got the Ace of Cups. And we have the Six of Wands. Somebody here intends on getting some sort of victory with you here. They intend on sort of coming across the finish line. I feel like this person is somebody that you were hoping and wishing or holding on to, hoping that they would um, communicate with you. I feel like they you are going to get some type of communication it does, though, I'm going to say, feel like I'm just looking at the Three of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So either you're scared of getting hurt or you feel like 
hurt because this person, you haven't heard from them in a while. And when I'm saying a while, I mean years. Pentacles for me is years. For some of you, it could be four years. For some of you, it could be one. Some of you, it could be six or seven years. It feels like you haven't heard from this person for a while. And this is somebody who I feel does have big feelings for you. Like their intention is to put some effort or energy into you um, because they're feeling heartbroken. It feels like they're missing you. And they want some sort of victory. They want attention, it looks like. They want you to give them your attention. Tell me more about Capricorn. Got the Judgment card. Got the Strength card. And we've got the Eight of Cups. This person is trying to find the courage to make a decision and I think that they were the person who actually walked away or stopped talking or disconnected from you emotionally. It's like everything went into this pentacle energy. It's like very grounded and solid and practical. And you're like, okay, well, if they're, if it's not them, then it's not them. It feels like this person did detach from you. And it feels like now they're trying to find the courage to come back and make some sort of decision or ask maybe for a second chance. It could possibly be that as well. We do have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't think you're giving them a second chance. I don't think you're going to invest here. I feel like you're going to keep this pentacle for yourself. I feel like you're focused on yourself anyway with all these pentacles here. I feel like you've been focused on yourself anyway. And this person's really not giving you enough energy with the page of pentacles. They're not giving you enough energy for you to even, even give them the time of day. You know what I mean? They're, they're not coming at you as the king of pentacles. They're coming at you as the page. They could be younger than you. There could be a, a big age difference here. Um, but this person is kind of immature. Um... They might be someone who doesn't have a whole lot of money either, and I, I don't think that that's here or there. I feel like that this is a person who mismanages their funds, who acts out maybe who's someone who is, if they're not younger than you, they're quite immature for their age. It feels like that. It feels like this person is coming to you with a gift, though. Like they're they're trying to butter you up. Like they might throw, you know, something in your mailbox, or they might, they might um, drop something off at your door, or something like that, if they're close enough to do that. Tell me about the outcome, please. We've got the Hermit energy, we've got the Justice, and we've got the King of Swords. I feel like you are going to think about it because I feel like you also have feelings for this person. But I think with the Hermit, the Justice, and the King of Swords, it tells me that you come to your senses. It feels like with this Justice card, you're like, no, I'm balanced the way I am. I think I'm good. I don't feel like I need this person's attention. Um, the King of Swords is telling me that you look at it in a very logical and sort of detached fashion. You're not looking at it at in an emotional way. It feels like with this uh, justice energy that I feel like you are getting your justice. It feels like somebody here is valuing their time alone. And that's very interesting because I, uh, I was just thinking as I was putting these cards down um, is that you have realized that um, it's not necessarily that, uh, what's the saying? It's like, it, it's like uh, people think that they're competing against each other for a person. Let's just say it's two men competing for a woman or two women competing for a man. And I think that the thing they don't realize is that what they're actually competing with is solitude. Like for, uh, for someone who is single and enjoys their company and really likes themselves, someone who's full of wisdom, who is okay to be alone, someone who's turned into some sort of shamanic energy because they are by themselves, you know, the person who comes along and is trying to drag you out of your peace, right? And you're like, no, I'm in my peace. I'm good. And I feel like it's a realization that the King of Swords, it's like, no, I'm clear. I'm clear on what I want. I've already got my justice. I'm in hermit energy. Tell me what's around the corner, please, for Capricorn. We've got the Magician, got the Lovers, and we've got the Page of Cups. You're like, no, bro, thank you, though, but I'm going to just manifest what it is that I want. So the Page of Cups tells me that you're manifesting new love, that you're leaving this person to the side and you're manifesting new love here. And I feel like you will get it here. I feel like you're in some sort of a healing phase right now, but I feel like this person is kind of trying to bust into your solitude and you're like, you're not actually fighting against anybody else. You're fighting against my solitude. I don't really want to come out of solitude. So we do have um, Leo energy, Virgo and Pisces. We have Gemini. We have Aries energy here. So we have uh, more Gemini as well. We have Aries, Gemini, and Libra energy. More Libra energy, Virgo. All right, all right. 
All right, Aquarius, let's figure out what's going on for you. You had a great reading yesterday. If you haven't watched it yet, you should go take a look. Uh, the one that I just put up yesterday for Aquarius was a great reading. Aquarius, uh, this is your sneak peek for this week, for the next seven days. If you are interested in a private reading, uh, please look below this video. There is a pinned comment. There's a sale, 10% off. It only is until the 30th of November. So if you want to get in on it, uh, there's a code um, in the in the pinned comment. There's also a link to get you over to Wizio if you want to book there. All right, let's figure it out. What's going on for Aquarius this week? Oh, look at that. The Queen of Swords. You're on top of it this week. I feel like you're um, you're negotiating something within the mind, I want to say. Should I let them in? Should I not let them in? We've got the Knight of Cups. We've got the Two of Cups. Isn't that interesting? Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> It's kind of just what I was talking about with Capricorn's reading here. It feels like somebody here is competing with your solitude. So I feel like um, the Queen of Swords is your energy, of course. We've got the Knight of Cups. Look, I feel like somebody's approaching Aquarius. Feminine or masculine, somebody's been approaching you slowly. I feel like somebody here is is brave. They're showing up with their feelings on their, you know, the their heart on their sleeve, I want to say. This person, I feel, is going to request your presence. It feels like the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups that's in the hand of the Knight is the Three Cups. This person wants to maybe have a reunion or wants to extend an invitation. Will you come out with me? It feels like um, this uh, Nine of Pentacles energy, though, I feel is you telling this person, no, I think I'm good. It feels like you are confidently standing up and um, liberating yourself and saying, look, if you want to come forward and speak to me about this, we can talk about it. But I feel like you with the Nine of Pentacles are feeling pretty stable and sturdy by yourself. I feel like you already have found like a new group of people or a new friend. It feels like um, uh, feels like you have like a new, yeah, a new group of people, I want to say. I want to say that this person, I feel like there is somebody coming in. They could be a, a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. It feels like somebody is coming in here. Ah, but ah, that's why. There it is. It's like, I, I kind of like this because you're sort of here like, yes, come in. But I have, I have boundaries and I got things to say too. So if you want to sit down, you're going to have to hear what I've got to say as well. And I'm looking here and it's like, I don't really want to fight with you. But if you want me to bring up all those things that are hiding underneath the surface, all the things that I know that you're lying to me about, then we can talk about those things if you like, but it's going to end up in an argument or a fight or some sort of a battle. So I feel like you are asking, huh, oh, the three cups is there. We just called it out here and the three cups is there in the future. So I feel like this person does want your time and energy. And I feel like you're just going to be really super honest. And I don't think you're going to be rude or aggressive. I think you're going to be assertive and you're just going to let them look. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not really sure that this is what I want, but if this is what you want, we're going to talk about all the things very clearly, very honestly. We've got the Queen of Cups. We've got the Temperance card. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Everything here is coming to a head. You know, I feel like this person is coming in because they, they want to... They want to romance you. I feel like they want to take you out. I feel like they want to um, enjoy your company. But I feel like you know who I'm talking about. Now, when the Queen of Swords and the Queen of, of Cups show up together, it tells me that you're going to be very kind and compassionate. That you're going to be very honest and truthful, but you're going to be very kind and compassionate. And they might not need to hear or want to hear the things that you've got to say. You're going to say them in the kindest way possible. But I want to say that everything is coming to a head. It feels like everything is leading up to this. It feels like this person here is interested in pursuing you um, in like a long-term relationship sense. Um, they see your value um, and it feels like this person is, yeah, I, I don't know that you're going to be giving them your time. Let's find out what's going on here. You've gone, well, you're gonna you're gonna think about it. I don't think you're gonna give him a straight up no. I think you're gonna, and, and that's probably why the Queen of Swords is like, go ahead, come forward. I've got boundaries, but if you want to come in and sit down, you can. But I feel like you're sort of going to give them a chance to say what they're going to say. You're kind of should I, shouldn't I? It feels like this energy here because I think you already know the outcome. I think you already know what you want to do. We've got the Nine of Wands. 
and the fool. So I don't think you want to hurt this person. That's the thing. You don't want to hurt them. You don't want to be rude to them. I feel like you're going to be kind and compassionate, but very honest with your words. It feels like you're kind of like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? But I think that in the end, ultimately, you know that you're more comfortable being in this Nine of Pentacles energy. I feel like you, you don't want to hurt them because this person that is showing up is in the Nine of Wands energy. I feel like they're they're showing up sort of sheepish, tail between their legs. Like it feels like that sort of energy that they're kind of cowering away. They don't really want you to be honest with them. It feels like they are looking for a new beginning or the opening of a new chapter here. And they're like, look, we'll be happy. And I don't think that you're buying it though. I don't think that you are because the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups is here. And I'm not, I don't think that you're, I think for a moment you think about it. Should I, shouldn't I? But I don't think that you do because the Nine of Pentacles is here and you're happiest being by yourself. What's the outcome, please? We've got the High Priestess energy. We've got the Nine of Swords and we've got the Three of Pentacles. So I, I feel like you're you're offering to be friends. You're you're like, you know what? We, we can be friends. We can do things together. We can... Yeah, it feels like it's over because the, the nine and the one sword in the hand of the queen, it tells me it's done. You've already released it, but you haven't said it to this person. The high priestess is here. You've been quiet. You've already released it. You're good with it. Um, but it feels like with this three of pentacles, you're going to suggest, you know, we could be friends. We can go out in groups of people. We can go out with, with our friends if you want. But um, I'm not necessarily interested in dating you one-on-one. -on -one. Tell me what the outcome is. We've got the Seven of Pentacles, we've got the Magician, and we've got the Five of Cups. So yeah, it's unfortunate, but I think you will be hurting somebody's feelings here this week. The Seven of Pentacles um, is here saying that you're, you've been trying to avoid it at all costs, but the fact that you're thinking about them is what's bringing them in, I feel. That you've been, I feel that the reason you've been thinking about them, because you're thinking about how can I let them down kindly with this um, Queen of cups and queen of swords how can i be really kind with the way i'm saying i feel like there's really no good way to say it and i feel like you can try and be as kind as you can but this person is going to be hurt because they are the wounded warrior and they're just waiting for one last wand before they can drop their burdens as well so this is somebody who's been through a lot they've been hurt a lot and you know the wounded warrior will act out in certain ways and i'm not making any I'm not making any concessions for this person, but, you know, the wounded warrior is somebody who has a lot of trauma, right? And people who have a lot of trauma, sometimes they they aren't as grown up. They don't make the best decisions. You know, people who are sort of in and out of your life because they don't know how to be consistent. I'm not making any excuses, but it's just facts, right? It's just the way it is. And so I feel like, um, unfortunately, you are going to end up hurting this person's feelings. Yeah, and I think that you've been trying to hold back or be patient or not say anything. I don't think you want to hurt anybody's feelings. I feel like you're going to say to them, look, we can be friends. We can talk as friends, but I don't think that you're going to allow them in your life. It's going to throw them into this eight of swords, but look, it's not your business. How they deal with it is really not your business, right? You need to do what's best for you. Um, we do have uh, Aries energy, Aries and Gemini. We have a lot of... Uh, uh, pentacles here so Taurus Virgo Capricorn we have water here Scorpio Pisces Cancer more Pisces Libra Gemini Aquarius Sagittarius and that's it it's a lot of changes going on right Aquarius because you have Pluto coming into your sign and it's going to be good for all of us it's going to be the whole big shakeup right on the heels of that full moon Whew. I feel like you're letting someone go all right, Pisces, let's do it. Let's figure out what's going on for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Pisces, as of today, I do have a 10% sale. 10% off of any of my services. You will find a code if you look in the um, pinned comment. You'll find a code there. And um, you'll find the link to Wizio if you'd like to book. It's only on until the 30th of November. Tell me about Pisces. What's coming up this week? Sneak peek for this week, seven, next seven days. We have the Knight of Wands. What's this about? Pisces. The Knight of Wands is here. We've got the Five of Pentacles. Pisces. Look, I don't want to tell you, but I'm going to tell you. It feels like somebody here is on the way back. I feel like the Knight of Wands that you haven't spoken with in a while. This is what you thought was done and over with. I feel like this person is heading back your way. Yeah, I think you knew it. <laughs> I think you're kind of like looking out the windows, like who drove, who just drove up? Like, I feel like you, you know what's going down here. Yeah. 
yeah, five of swords. It does feel like somebody is coming back. They could be a fire sign. They don't have to be, but we do have um, uh, uh, Libra, uh, sorry, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, Leo energy here. It does feel like you haven't spoken with this person for a while. I think they pop in and out of your life, uh, um, Pisces. I feel like they keep popping in and out of your life. I feel like you know, like you're sort of looking for them at this point. It feels like you found your stability um, after some sort of something that went on between you and this person. Look, I don't feel it was an argument or a fight, but I feel like this person is beautiful to look at, feminine or masculine. They're very desirable. They make you feel the most desired you've ever felt. But I, I feel like this person doesn't give you any stability. And I also feel like there, there are fundamental differences here. You two don't want the same things. This person wants to be able to come in and out of your life whenever they want to. They want to make the rules. Um, they are somebody who's very brave. They're on their own path, right? They're just not someone who's ready to settle down. And I feel like you are probably um, you're probably done with their shenanigans. <laughs> That's what it feels like. You, you don't want anybody in your life who's not going to give you any stability. Um, tell me about the Knight of Wands, please. The Two of Wands, the Empress, and we've got the Hanged Man. So there's why, because you're the Empress. You've already done the work. Oh, I just heard Chinchilla say, I've done the work and I got my badge of honor, honey. Um, it's been, s I've changed so much since I last saw you. Look, it feels like this person keeps coming in and out of your life. And um, that song is Little Girl Gone and it's by Chinchilla. It feels like somebody here is like sort of over the shenanigans. As I said at the beginning, I feel like you're the empress. You're a person who has perspective. You're a person who is um, listening to your intuition and you move really slowly in this life. We've got Libra and Taurus energy here. Taurus doesn't make decisions quickly, doesn't like when people are in and out of their lives, pop in, pop out. They want consistency in friendships and relationships. And Libra is the one who's highly intelligent, who always is looking for balance. How can I balance my life with all the people around me? I feel like you, I'm supposed to tell you with the two of wands to be prepared that this person is showing up and they want your attention. We've got two wands here and three more. Um, they want they want your attention. So we've got three and three, which is six ones, which is somebody who is on their high horse, probably pretty beautiful. That's Leo energy. Someone I was saying was feminine or masculine, someone who's very beautiful to look at. It's kind of hard to say no, but I feel like it's the shenanigans that you're done with, right? It feels like you're, you're done with them sort of wandering in and out of your life, expecting that you're going to drop what you're doing in order to accommodate whatever it is that they want. And I feel like your intuitive energy is telling you, don't do it. Be prepared that this person is probably going to come back and is probably going to say to you, but we could expand. I, we can expand together. But you have to remember the Five of Swords. They don't want the same things you do. They move quick. You move slow. You're looking for stability. They're looking for um, whatever they can get, right? They're looking for good times, fast times. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This person is single. This knight is single. Um, but they, I feel like they're going to come to you with this lover's energy. This lover's energy is like, but it can be, it, even though we have differences, Pisces, even though we have differences, we can make it work. This person is somebody who wants, I wouldn't say an open relationship, but they are somebody who wants to stay single. So what they don't want is to have to um, have any accountability for anything. And that's the king of wands energy, right? They don't want to have to be accountable to anyone and they want to stay single. But I'm just going to say, I really do feel that this is like a soulmate energy, a deep soul connection for you, that this person is like when you look into their eyes, it's really hard to say no. But I think that you have some pretty strong boundaries here. It feels like you are about, I feel like you either are about to release them or you already did under the full moon and you put up this blockade here. And this person is not going to get across the blockade. Look, I feel like they lie to you, right? The five and the two is seven. I feel like that they're not completely honest with you. They don't have to be a liar, but maybe they just, there's things that they keep under the surface that you don't know about them that they just don't say. That's what it feels like here. Yeah, that, they're going to give you the whole thing. Look, they're going to try and see you face to face. 
because they know that when you look at them, it's like the your heart melts, right? They are going to say to you, look, we can make it work. I know that we have differences of opinion. I know that maybe we don't want all of the same things, but I really do feel like if we try, this is going to work. You're my soulmate. I feel like they're going to lay it on really thick. And they, of course, ultimately, the decision is all, always yours. But please know that I'm not calling this person a liar. All I'm saying is this person is not going to give you the stability that you want if you are the Empress. If you are someone who's got all the wisdom and you are someone who's good by yourself and you don't need anybody, it's the best place to be when this person shows up because then you won't get sucked into the, to the beautiful eyes, right? Or the beautiful body or whatever it is. You won't get sucked into this desire. Tell me what the outcome is for um, Pisces, please. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the King of Cups. Ah, no, thank you. I'm waiting for the big guns. I'm waiting for the King of Cups. I'm waiting for the person who is emotionally available. The one who is going to give me stability and sturdy love. The one who's going to move slowly and be strategic and pursue me in the right way, in an emotional way, not a fire way. I feel like you're telling this person, look, I'm waiting for the King of Cups. I don't want anybody in my life. Like, it feels like this person wants from you a situation ship. When I see pentacles next to the knight of wands, to me, it's friends with benefits energy. And so that's what this person wants. And so the thing is, is you can do that if you want to, but you'll be stuck there. You're never going to find the king of cups while you're, while you're carrying on with the, with the king of wands so, or the knight of wands. So the king of cups is here. And I feel like the page of wands is telling me that, that this king of cups is on the way. I feel like when you get on this new path or that this communication might be coming in from the King of Cups. You might meet this person somewhere if you haven't met them yet, or if you know them, I feel like you're waiting on them. It feels like with this Knight of Pentacles energy here, that's what you're doing. And it, even maybe you don't know this person yet. Maybe you've never met them. Maybe they are a Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancer. But it feels like you, you are waiting on the sure thing. Tell me what's around the corner for Pisces. Got the Ten of Cups. Yeah. You're holding out. Look, it could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces, um, could be a Scorpio. But I feel like what you're doing is you're moving on here from this person. Because I feel like, you know, maybe in another life. <laughs> yeah, it feels like, why do I keep having pink in my head today? Um, so uh, in another life, maybe it may have worked out. But I feel like you know that your happiness is in the balance, right? The king, or sorry, the, the chariot is here. You know that there is to be victory, but in order to get the victory, the white horse and the dark horse need to be balanced, which is the feminine and masculine energy. And I feel like you are balanced in your energy, but that the knight is running in masculine energy only, is running at fire, right? The Six of Swords tells me that I feel like you're leaving this person behind and they're not going to be happy, but I feel like you're, you're holding back from them. Yeah, you're not sharing anything. I'm shut off. I'm shut down. I'm not vulnerable with you. I'm not giving you any of my energy. And I feel like it's, you know, this person is going to do their damnedest to tell you, say all the right things to you and try and get you face to face because they know that you won't be able to say no to them when you're face to face. I think you will be able to because I feel like you know what's at stake. Um, we do have the high priestess energy. I feel like you are in this energy of, you know, the high priestess. I feel like you know what you want, that you are listening to your intuition. Um, and it's it's time for you to be silently waiting for the for the thing that is right for you. And I think that you don't care how long you have to wait because the Empress doesn't. The Empress is okay on their own. They're not looking at their watch. We have the King of Wands. There is somebody you know that somebody is about to pursue you. And I think it's going to be the King of Cups. Um, and look, we've got we've got water and fire. It could be someone who's a Sagittarius possibly. It could be um, uh, a Leo or an Aries. It could be um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Could be Libra or Taurus. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. I'm going to leave that right there. Thank you so much for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. And I'm going to be back because I'm always back because can't be away from you guys too long. Love you too much. I'm up for now. You guys take care. Bye-bye.